Welcome to the Max Bet Podcast, a podcast dedicated to everything gaming. I'm Landon Jones, here with Mike McKiskey. Let's get started. Microphone check, two, one, two, you got Mike and Landon in the house, what you gonna do, we're gonna rap, we're gonna roll, we're gonna get this podcast on the go. flow. Flow, there you go, good job. Yo. <clears throat> you are not a rapper, but it's- I am uh, definitely not a rapper. Out. That's how we go, that's how we uh, go. That was, that was straight from the- um, From the field. Straight from the field right, right, right there. Right in the heart. Yeah, are, we, are we live? We're live. Oh, we're we're just, just gonna roll with I that? I think we should, why not? Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, Landon raps every now and this again. This is my uh, first intro into my rap career. Uh, thumbs up if you like it. Don't do the thumbs down if you don't. That works. Or do. I is don't there care. a thumbs down? I yeah, just like it. Just, like just like it. It's like good. It. Don't worry about it. So what's uh, going on, man? <laughs> it's been a busy month and yeah. week and, and it's day. It's not slowing down anytime soon. An hour. Um, Big week, though, for what is now known as Light and Wonder. Light and Wonder. Our friends. Formerly scientific. Previously known as, yeah. Formerly scientific. <laughs> formerly Bally. Formerly. Shuffle. Formerly Shuffle. WMS, formerly, formerly, formerly. There's like another formerly dozen everything. company names in the online space that you could add to that list of formerlies. But but if you work there now, <clears throat> you're just one name. I hope you're feeling light and wonderful. Yeah. Because you're doing it. You're doing That's it. That's what we're doing. And to be completely <laughs> honest, when I first heard and saw the name i was a little bit thrown off i was wondering what to think of it yeah what and do now you think I, like, I really yeah. is growing on me <laughs> it's so funny how you say that so like that's what it, it's almost like they warn you when yeah they tell you like listen it's gonna grow on you. you're gonna be i'm shocked. gonna tell you but just be aware and you go okay yeah and because that's how i felt it's not about the name it's about their values and their company culture well the going story around forward. it the story around it i think was big like saying hey yeah. we're gonna focus on games we're getting kind of rid of the noise and it's billion dollar noise right so it's a lot of noise you're getting rid of it's and a couple go, billion dollar noises yeah i think seven eight billion so it's a lot of noise lot right of but they noises. get rid of that and go hey we're gonna free up some cash we're gonna focus on making good games so i'm I, as a gambler i'm excited to see what this what this does like will they make will they be the ones that come up with the next like math model that takes over the world like is it right now it's the lightning link hold and spin style game still dominating yeah where they gonna have this new wonder into new worlds where it's like hey they, that's whatever's next they i hope so because after you know we just chatted with matt which you guys will get to hear <laughs> phenomenal just a minute, yeah. hearing kind of the backstory of it makes me Kind of like cheer them on a little bit. Like yeah. you see a company that goes from a culture of like super corporate to saying, Hey, you know what? We're taking the shackles off. We're taking the corporate stuff off. We're going to be a light and fluffy company. Light and wonder. <laughs> yeah. We're cutting some of like our other projects yeah. to focus on building cool shit. Can I say that? It's your show. You do whatever you want. I know, but I feel like. <laughs> We said it. Just uh, said it. Well, it's out there now. It. You can't. Gonna... You can't rewind the tape. So, um, um, but you know what is fun? What right? is fun? And I like doing these types of things. Okay. All the employees mm -hmm. are getting a box. Right? They are. Like, yeah. And we, we're gonna do a little unboxing here. Little unboxing. Light and wonder. Who's I'm, the YouTuber I'm that does the unboxing? Like big. He's like really famous with the kids. Couldn't tell you. Zach, who is it? Zach, you can start being in these podcasts now. Do you know He's who that is? Back. I have no idea who does unboxings. Okay. So we don't know. We'll look at it. Okay, whatever. We're doing it like that person. Okay. So this is, I think, what do they say? All employees are getting this? So yes. I've never opened this yet. So this is, here we go. You I'm, have to I'm wondering what's in the box. Well, it's. Did I get a flash? It's light. Whoa, what do you see? I see furls. I can't see it. I'm behind it. Furl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, black uh, confetti there. Yeah, nice. Okay. What do we got here? Okay. Oh, we got some oh, yeah. specs. We got okay, some put specs. Put those on. I'm going to put the lanyard on. there? Okay. You got a lanyard. So I got the lanyard. You got the specs. You look like you need some chapstick. You can have that. <laughs> what you. else do we have? Ooh, a, we have a little mini a bag set. Is that mini bags for the yeah. desk, desktop oh, bean dude, bags? Dude. So you, you can play a little bag so that. These are nice. Those are light. Say. I feel like, you know what I could do? I feel like I these are like swimming, swimming pool glasses. I don't like you feel can like maybe it doesn't go there. I've set it down there. I want to see if I can. Yeah, can you see that? The other way, so. Oh, it's like yeah, this, buddy. Yeah, put it right there. Put it over by your water bottle. Okay, right there. Right, right, the back it up, okay, dude. Okay, you got to check trust it. Can you see it? Yeah, We're here. Up. We're doing it. 
Boom. Oh, you suck. <laughs> oh, you suck. Yeah. Uh, 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 I didn't one, get any points. One. Okay, what else do we but have? You could play a lot of that during the day. Ooh, a notebook, a little pad. A little notebook. Light and wonder pad. A sticker, put that on your truck. Building <laughs> not, new worlds Not all of stickers play. have to go on trucks, buddy. I wonder they have to. Building new worlds of play. See, those are cool stickers. You put it on your desk. I think, think the intention here is that in the office they would go on the desk. And if you're bald. <laughs> well, you're going to be after we do the charity challenge. So we talked about this. So he doesn't know I'm going to talk about this, but. Mr. Inkster reached out because we talked about him in the St. Baldrick's challenge, which he looked fantastic, by the way. Thank you. Um, and he was saying, he goes, hey, that St. Baldrick's event, A, they would love to have us participate. B, it's not until September. So I may have given you more runway with your hair. I think we should peer up. Can I use this as a, a wig going forward? Immediately following, yeah. Shave you look the great in those shades, by the way. These are good shades, I'm telling you. These are good. You know what I like to do when I'm going swimming? I like to have shades like this so I can dive in them and hang out with the kids. I don't have to worry about, you know, messing up fancy specs. So. Speaking of a mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good thing. On the day we broke our vacuum, we just made this mess. It's perfect. There's another sticker for your truck. Oh, that's good. Look at this fish. Uh, this so that's pretty cool. Yeah, get people involved. <laughs> do a little fun gift set. Hey, man, when I work at a company, I always like the swag box. Yeah. I always feel like if I was to get this set up, I'd be pretty excited about it. Just cruising in with your all day. shades. Yeah, my shades. Yeah. What's the sound? I see new worlds of play. How about that? Do That's you see great. the world? When I put them on, I do. It's oh, like you have a new aura. Uh, it's like a whole Because when you put them on, you disappear. Do I? Yeah. Dang, that's wild. <laughs> he go. It's camo glasses. like a Harry Potter thing. Uh, so it is now out. The new it's name they're doing it. of Scientific Games. Yeah, that was wild. The other thing, oh, you know, we forgot, you know, to talk about, but I thought it was interesting. No one saw this coming. No one. So. Oh, that's what we. F <laughs> Are you kidding me? F amateur hour interview. I know. Nah, but we heard the story. It's basically, we're just saying like, look, how do you keep this under wraps? And it's uh, a lot. Of, I think there was a lot of blood oaths sworn, a lot of uh, on NDA stuff. But what was that? Yeah, because one person slips and that's she go. She go. It's game over. I um, bet there wasn't that many people that knew, though. There's probably like a lot of people that knew there was some sort of a uh, brand coming and then not that many people that. A personalized note from Mr. <coughs> Barry Connell, CEO of Light and Wonder. That's awesome. Do you want to read it? I do not. It's a long one. I don't. I don't know that. Generally speaking, they're excited. They're happy <laughs> to have the team. Um, <clears throat> oh, that's an interesting point. He says uh, for now. So all the employees that are here on day one of Light and Wonder, they're essentially founders of Light and Wonder. So that's kind of a cool, cool point. Cause that is cool. Yeah. You know, people feel like he said, he said, okay, so maybe I will read it. He says, so "This is an exciting time to be a founder of Light and Wonder." I truly believe that every one of us will one day look back and say, that's when it all started, and I was a part of it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I, will I like say. that. <clears throat> I'm big on that whole program. Because you're going to look. You, you don't know what this is going to be. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, we think it's positive. I mean, I'm inclined to trust smart people. So I know Matt's a smart guy. I, know, I mean, he's just one element of it. Siobhan, yeah. Siobhan, who came on the show. Randy, I mean, you name it. You look across their team, you go, pretty smart, talented long running executive people here, obviously team. Yeah. So you're going to, you feel like it's going to be a winner. So even though yeah. your first response is like, well, is that, what are we doing? Like I, I, you know what I assume? Somebody knows something. I don't know. Yeah. And you go, okay, well, let's see what's going to be. So, but to his point, whatever it's going to be started last week and we're going now. I like a big company like that. <laughs> taking the, like the shackles off a little bit with like corporate America, America style running shit. Yeah. Just taking it off and saying, we're going to go be cool guys, create cool games yeah. and women and we're going to crush it. <laughs> yeah. We do what we want. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Well, it's good. I'm rooting for him. Me too. Mostly because I like all the people there. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like, again, it's like the whole point, like a name's a name, but the people are who you want to work for. And I feel like I'd like Matt, whether he had a light and wonder shirt on or a, is Saga it the accent? Shirt. Probably. Yeah, I know. You always also, like, every time you have an accent, you sound a little smart. He's smart. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but you sound a little bit smarter than you you're might just, be. You're just uh, nice, man. If you yeah. threw me with an Aussie accent, people would be like, that dude's smart. You think so? Until I started doing math. You could be like, to math. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like numbers dram up the accent. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's an English major thing with the accent. Oh, yeah. so maybe I would have been better taught. There's no math and accent. Accents in math. Yeah. That's what I'm going with. I like it. Let's bring them in, man. Enough Let's roll. Yeah, Let's if you guys want to stay like tuned. Like and subscribe. Yeah, And hear a little good. bit about SG's new rebranding process to Light and Wonder. Light and Wonder. Do it. Let's roll, baby. Oh, you start. Go ahead, man. Welcome to the MaxBad Podcast. We have a special guest in-house today, 
Matt Wilson himself, yeah. group CEO of not Scientific Games. Oh, yeah. Oh, almost. almost a Freudian slip. Update, yeah. Light update the and name. wonder. Light and wonder. Yeah. It's a big week for you guys. Big week. It's a big one. Is it growing on you yet, day two? It is. I yeah. said that's actually it's probably a grow. the... It's definitely yeah. a grow for sure. I was yeah. going to say, is that what, would, like, what was the first response like when people started fearing? Do you think a lot of people go... Uh, even when I first heard it, I was like, hmm... But then over time, when you kind of understand what we're trying to do with it, it yeah. kind of grows on you. Yeah, a little bit. I think like any name, like when you name a child, like right. here's little Landon. Everyone's like, Landon? Landon. <laughs> what? What's his name? <laughs> Born with a <laughs> perfectly some... quaffed head of hair. That's right. Came right out like that. I'm sure uh... he did. Hey, you guys have come a long way in, uh, in two years. Last time we did this, it yeah, was... Man. Uh, Middle of the pandemic and yeah. over the telephone. Yeah. And, and now we're here over, in your yeah. whole studio. It's pretty cool. Seeing you live. It's good. We'll get better ratings this time because people can see how good looking you are. And <laughs> I'll tune in that. and I'll be like, hey, look at this, uh, this stud. Okay. So you go through and you, de- you develop the name. So why did you even do this? Like what, what brought upon, we're just getting tired of writing scientific games, too many letters in the well, email. Well, the email's or, a long way That's what I mean, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, like I said, this today is my two-year anniversary with Scientific yeah, Games, so yeah. March second of twenty twenty. So I walked straight into the middle of a pandemic. Like I said on the last Congrats, yeah. last show that we that we did, man, we were in free for all then June yeah. of twenty twenty. We did that last show, yeah, um, together. And I mean, the world didn't know what the hell was going yeah, on, right? Four was months into your ten What is this years, thing? Is there going to be a vaccine? And yep. yeah, here we are two years later. And from from my journey at Scientific Games, or Light and One now. You know, if someone told me two years ago that we would be where we are now, I just frankly wouldn't have believed it. Like right. all the dominoes that have fallen yep. throughout that time, and I think you guys have followed it pretty closely, but we had around about, it must have been June as well, we had Perlman's uh, sell out of the company, yeah. he sold his 49% stake, and we, we sold it to a number of different parties, and the one that actually landed the deal to take the stake was Jamie O'Dell, like a group oh, yeah. uh, of investors fronted by Jamie O'Dell. So, yep. so Perlman out. New investors in, yeah. Odell becomes the chairman, Tony Kosanis, who's the old CFO that we worked with, uh, becomes a vice chair, and that's a whole new leadership philosophy. Like, they're yeah. here to play the long game. And they came in and they said, we're going to rapidly delever the company. They did yeah. a strategic review of the company, and we went through and looked at all the assets in the portfolio. So if you remember back then, we had the lottery business, yep. we had a sports platforms business, we had an iCasino business, we had a land-based business and a social casino business. And we wow. had about $9 billion in debt. And so we said, <laughs> yeah. we've got to figure out you know, which part of this puzzle deserves to be together and which bits can we sell right. uh, opportunistically. And so we went through this whole strategic <laughs> review process and landed on with selling lottery and with selling sports. Yeah. Um, and so then the three things that are left in the portfolio – uh, the land-based business, social casino, and I casino, yep. and they're all kind of fundamentally driven by this idea of building great games. Yeah, you know? and I think that's a big part of the reason we've rebranded is because now we're a different company. We're about a different mission, mission and vision. Yeah. But also, we essentially sold the scientific games brand with the lottery <coughs> business. Cause right. The, so yeah, because that was always a lottery brand, brand right? right? So, like, when we were in it, I mean, we I was at Bally and you were Shuffle, right? We yep. were acquired by Scientific right. Games. Now it's, what, 2014, so how many years ago that is, eight years. It's good, man. And, yeah, quick quick on my feet with the numbers, <laughs> buddy. And so we were like, what the hell is this? Like, until they bought WMS, right. I don't think any casino guys no, had really ever heard of sure. it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you go, oh, that's a massive company, right? And then you realize how big the lottery yeah. business is. And it was interesting, like, when I initially joined Scientific Games, so the thesis that all these businesses – fit together was anywhere someone wants to place a bet yep. we want to be there to facilitate that so yeah. whether that's a, a lottery scratch ticket or an online sports bet or a slot machine or a system and when you kind of step back from that you say what is the so what of that like yeah. why do those companies belong together and i'm a big believer in like companies can only be truly world class at a limited number of things you can't be unless you're you guys right. you can't be like world class at like 50 <laughs> things right you gotta Just be podcast. you gotta be focused really focused yeah. and so if you think about the lottery business, so essentially that is a scratch lottery ticket business, yeah. which you, if you think about the core competencies there, it's really about distribution. Printing press and yeah, distribution. Getting into, yeah, these, yeah, yeah. Re, into these retail facilities. It couldn't be more different than building a Willy Wonka on a mural, animation, sounds, graphics, yeah. math. It's, they're just totally different things. And so now that we, we spin out the lottery business and let them focus on the things that they're really good at. Yep. And we just become a hyper-focused games company. Yeah. So back to your, your, your question was, so where did it all come from? Why did we do it? Well, we essentially sold the, the lottery brand when we yep. sold the business. And so it gave us a great opportunity to go back and kind of reinvent our identity. I think it would have been a hard decision if we wanted to rebrand without 
the necessity of selling because it would have felt right. a bit self-indulgent if I'm honest with you. Like you spend a lot of money on these things. So sure. the fact that we, we had this opportunity to do it and it was the right thing to do financially just gave us a chance to kind of really get after it and, and reinvent it. And I think your question was like, so how do we land here? So under Jamie and Barry's leadership, the, the thing that they said for this whole process was it has to be stakeholder, stakeholder led. Yeah, right. Like the last thing we want to do is get a bunch of executives in a room <laughs> deciding what the future of this company and the, yep. and the brand should be. Yeah, so right. we went to all our stakeholders, the majority of them being our employees. So employees, customers, shareholders, and said, you know, what do you want this company to be? What do you want to stand for? And started there with a whole bunch of research. And then that kind of laddered up to mm. some decisions to make around the brand. This yeah. is what, what, what you said to me yesterday was stuck out to me a lot when we were just chatting in the parking lot at your guys' reveal party. But uh, you said, you know, this company was made up of so many other cultures and companies. Yeah. You have Williams, WMS, you've got Bally, you've got Shuffle Master, you have Scientific Games, and all came under one umbrella. Right. Do you think that rebranding the company, people can kind of remove themselves from that? I guess only time will tell, but. Yeah. Well, I think you guys are a great example of that, yeah. right? You're a Bally guy yeah. and you're a shuffle master. Yeah, for sure. And you, you do hear that a lot inside our organization is, you know, the first thing out of people's mouth is I work for Scientific Games, but I'm a Bally person. I came yeah, from the yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. side of the house or I was, you know, so I think this gives us a chance to like really start fresh and not being critical, but I think when we acquired all those companies, we probably didn't do the best job of integrating them right. from a systems perspective, but more importantly, from a culture perspective. Yeah. So now we've had a chance to kind of build a ground up brand with new vision and values and it came from the team. And so this is now our, you know, Siobhan always says it best, it's like an empty vessel. Like the name is not the company, or yeah. the logo is not the company. It's really like what we make of it. Yeah. And so again, Light and Wonder is a name, could have been any other name, but it's now it's the work that we have to do to say, what does that stand for? Yeah. Um, that, that's really important. Yeah. Well, so it's interesting. So this process, if I understand correctly from hanging out, was about a year ago. Mm. You guys go, okay, pull me some names. Well, so we identified pretty early on that lottery was going to be one of the assets that was going to be yep. up for sale. And you just assume the name would have to go with it. It's where kind it came like from. It, it had yeah. a lot of brand equity with that sure. customer base. So yeah, so we figured out that's likely going to happen. So let's kick it off. And we engaged a company called Landor and Fitch out of San Francisco, who's done this for like huge companies yep. like Microsoft and Google and all these companies. Yep. So they're kind of best in class. Small so, companies. Yeah, this little, <laughs> no start, little yeah. startups like little brand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's where you guys are going to end up. Um, yeah, engage them and they're just pros and they, they take you on the journey. So, I mean, it was a like a lot of things in the last two years working through the pandemic. Uh, I had no idea what it took to rebrand a company, the process you go through. But yeah, yeah it was it was fascinating. And so then... We also interviewed a company called Lexicon, whose whole job is kind of weird, almost like as weird as your guys' job, but okay. <laughs> is to like, nice. is to like name, name companies. Yeah. Okay. And these are like linguists and they have like the whole science behind it. They know which consonants should go in the right, like kind of like Wordle for companies. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, nice, yeah, yeah. yeah. perfect. Um, and like they've done things like Sonos and Impossible Burger and... Okay. I was like, these guys have the weirdest job in the world. Like yeah, trying to rebrand talking about a, a weird job. Company. Just sit there throwing names at the I wonder board. what they name their kids, like their children. <laughs> Landon, like for the sure. thought process <laughs> Landon, they Landon, 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 like yeah. a, As a name yeah. linguist, we'll call them. <laughs> yeah, and so again, like we did all this research with, with employees and customers and shareholders and said, who do we want to be? We give yeah. that to them and they start like, you know, going through names. I think they came up with 20... 2,700 Yeah, that's what, I, that's what they were saying. Like, yeah, a crazy amount of names. <laughs> and then we just started to do, like, the guess who thing. You're just, like, starting to eliminate things because it... <laughs> so how do you whittle it down? Do you then say, okay, as an executive team, everybody take a list and cross out 100 names? Like, is it... Because well, 2,700 ultimately to one, like, there's got to be some Yeah, it was, like, steps I think here. it was, like, five or six rounds of, like, whittling it, whittling it down. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, like, some of them just didn't work. Like, the rhyming slang. I'm like, I'm from Australia. People are going to rhyme that with something that doesn't sound very flattering yeah, exactly. so that's like, gone oh, that's and, uh, that, yeah. well um, it's funny because i was talking some, somebody had said to me uh, i was hoping you were gonna ask this question well i don't know where you think i'm I going know, but yeah. maybe it's different but somebody said hey hey the rumor is side game is gonna rebrand i said oh interesting like i didn't know that like i learned about it a couple of days before it was announced right and then they go what do you think the name's gonna be i said i don't know i said but as long as wilson's in the room <laughs> you won't get anything to make fun of i said because at least you'll be in the room at least the representative going all right how would i make fun of that name yeah right that's, and that's so you could cross off all that's the, the, all the i'm sure people out there trying to make fun of yeah. it. That, that, that's all like i said it's a it grows on you over time and i think like you were there yesterday yeah. thanks yeah. for doing that giving us the courage like yeah, fun. 
there was a buzz in the in the crowd. It's yeah. like this is a chance to really reset the company and move forward under a new brand, a new yeah. identity. We had you know, Jamie and Tony there. Yeah, that, that was cool. Yeah, to speak, and that was the first time they'd been out of the country and could speak to our employees directly. And oh, yeah. really? Yeah, and then they we had the earnings call later that day, which went really well. So it was just a good. It was a la- like a landmark day for the company. Not and again, having Tuesday. everyone yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> came crashing back down earth this morning. It's like oh, only a fraction of the people are here, and yeah, oh, you know, I, I just like we were saying before we went on air, like I. I get a lot out of being around people and it's nice to have people they finally come back into the office and collaborating. So, yeah. The, the question <coughs> that I fun. thought yeah, you were going to ask, ask, which this is, I don't know if you can even ask this, but I'm just going to give you an example. Mm. So before we decided on Max Bet, we were going to be called Machine Hustle. I'm just going to throw that <laughs> horrible, out there. Horrible, horrible, man. Close. It was this close to be calling yeah. Machine Hustle. That was a which... sliding doors moment, man. That could have been said. You know what it was? That was a we told, right name. That's what we told three people, and all of them were like, oh, yeah, okay. Like, you could just <laughs> see it on their, hustle, you could yeah. see it on their face. Hustling and slots hustle or something like that. Hustle was a big hashtag That's what Lana was big oh, for. Hustle hard, hustle hard. I was like, yeah, I don't know. So the question is... Was there a close second? Oh, was there a sliding the glass door moment? And what was the name? Yeah, I think one that we all kind of rallied around was uh, Captivate. Because we were trying to like, yeah. yeah, what are we trying to do? We're trying to like create games that are captivating and yeah, creating yeah. An, an immersive experience. Um, but then we kind of rethought that through a bit of a harm minimization lens. You know, you don't want to hold players captive. It's not what we do. Like yeah. we're about creating uh, entertaining yeah. experience. Yeah, so, good call. So, yeah, so we, we went with um, Light Monday. And I think it's perfect because it's kind of like conjures up like the levity of what we're trying to create yeah. with, with games and and again, this brand is primarily focused at employees and potential employees. Yeah. Yeah. Customers, you know, they care what you call, but they care more about how your games perform. Yeah. Right. Let's be honest. So yeah. this is really about trying to say to, to our employee base that we want to be the best company in the industry to work for. Yeah. And to potential employees that are out there listening now, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Transfer. We're hiring. Yeah. yeah um, come and work for us. It's yeah, a fun right. place. We make games. That's what we do. We make games. Well, what would they expect then? So like now if you're saying either I'm working here or I'm about to work or I yeah. want to work there and now it's light and wonder. So what, what now is going to be better or different or more interesting about working there than four days ago when it was something else? Yeah. I think again, like it's everything we do now is driven off this vision. We want to be the leading cross-platform global game company. So it's, I know it's a lot of words, but yeah. we yeah. want to build the best games and then we want to publish them in slot machines, publish them in a social casino channel, publish yep. them in an iCasino channel. So now we can really frame the business around that. So yeah. create the right campus for that, create the right incentives for that, incentivize game designers to make great games, reward them for that. So yeah, it really comes off that ether of like, this is what we do as an organization. Then everything has to fall out of that. Yeah. Every part of the EVP. So interesting. Yeah. Pretty wild. And everybody's a creator now. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. They're yeah. all labeled yeah. creators. Yeah. Yeah. And that means, cool. that means a game idea can come from anywhere. Yeah. yeah. It means that we're here to create great experiences for our customers. So yeah, that's, that's how we frame in the employees. Is they're, actually, they're creators now. Yeah. Is there actually a process for that though? So like, for example, now you say, okay, I'm an accountant. I don't know why I always pick on accounting, but like, <laughs> I just don't think it's that creative. There's very rigid rules. You put the numbers where they go. Right. Creative but like, account- Enron was pretty creative. Well, that's a bad example. So when you start <laughs> yeah. getting creative, it's maybe not yeah. the best, but like, so let's say somebody's sitting there going, you know, I've always wanted to design this table game. Yeah. So is there like a forum where they go, hey, here's my Funny idea. You should it mention finds that. its this way to Roger or something. So, yeah. yeah, we have these things called Best Games Workshops that we run. We've got one next week, and it's um, these concept pitch ideas. So we've got two days of concept pitches. Yeah. Where mostly game designers, but if you have an idea in the company, you get to go to the concept pitch and pitch your idea. It could be a license, could be a game idea, yeah. could be any number of things, could be a table games product. Um, and even I'm going to pitch an idea oh, next yeah. week. Ooh, yeah, nice. we'll probably get shot down by the game yeah. designers. <laughs> like like so Shark Tank style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this oh, a slot machine? Oh, you're a game designer now. Slot machine or a table yeah. game? Or? Yeah, okay, slot cool. machine. Yeah, cool. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Matt wants to remake the uh, Australian Thunder from Down Under game, but with, <laughs> with himself as uh, the game. That's funny. Yeah. I, I do often say when people meet <laughs> me in town you know? and I got the Aussie accent, they say, oh, what do you do here? I'm like, yeah. I'm in the Thunder Down Under. Yeah. And they like look at me and go, really? I go, sure. yeah, I'm the accountant. A couple, couple more stakes, maybe? <laughs> yeah, Those guys accountant. are huge. Yeah. We work with our shirts off in the office. <laughs> That's all we do. Oh, man. Light and one. So then, yeah, and I did see. So, okay, so employees more creative, game focused. I don't know if I'm throwing you a grenade systems all coming along for the ride or is that, is that yeah. all part of it? Cause are you going to start getting into more like gaming bonuses on systems to kind of so go here's into where we think the future or? of, of systems is yeah. going. And it's a really important part of it. If it wasn't an important part of our business, we, we probably would have sold it. Right. That's I was wondering, we, I didn't know if that was next or strategically if it was yeah, important. So, and I've spoken about this <laughs> at, at G2E. So 
the gaming experience is converging. So we now have six st states live with, with iCasino. Yep. That's players playing slot machines fr from a land-based facility on their digital site, right? Yep. Yep. And then we have obviously the proliferation of, of gaming and casinos. So it's about converging those two experiences. So operators need to figure out how much is a player worth to me across all these channels. You can already see yeah. Caesars doing this, like leveraging their database. So if you're a player, right? So, and I think BCLC have a lot of research around this yeah. that says if you're an omni-channel player, you're worth substantially more um, to a casino. Sure. Like it's yeah. like 3,000% more. I'm probably mm. making that number up, but it's substantial. <laughs> it's okay. it's I love you. It's more, more than it with yeah. Yeah. True, right? But the idea is like, if you're playing in our land-based facility, and you're playing in our eye casino, but you're not, you never take a, a bet in sports. And I know yeah. you're a Golden Knights fan. How do I push you an offer to, to drive that cross channel play? And so we are very well strategically positioned to take advantage of that. We have 50% of the systems install base a, across the, the US. Oh, wow. And in our eye casino, we have this thing called the OGS or the, the aggregator okay. yeah. and the PAN, the player account management system, which is essentially the CMS system for eye casino. So, we're doing a lot of work to stitch those things together. Wow. So as an operator, you can say, I know everything I need to know about Lander. I can get a, a player P&L. How much should I reinvest in the him? How much is he worth to me online in bricks and mortar through the sports betting app? So strategically, we think that's like the next frontier for, sure. for casino operators. And how do they drive <coughs> that cross channel? Is that not done now? Like you have that live the, already or yeah, is that still so, TBD, TBD? So it's kind of stitched together. but. We want to get to a, to a position where it's like a very eloquent solution sure. that if you have our system, of course, you're going to take our PAM because it's all part of the it's same. It just works together. You know, yeah, so there's yeah. a lot of work going on to do that. But yeah. So we had in studio yesterday, Dr. Rippy from UNLV, oh, who's cool. working on AR, VR, augmented reality, R's, gamma. Yeah. yeah, a lot of R's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like in the meta universe. Yeah. yeah. That shit's wild. Yeah, the meta. So I'm not sure I fully understand <laughs> that in the NFTs, but can you tell me about that? Yeah. Well, I'm, well, I, we just went through an hour with him and we were trying <laughs> to figure it out. But I mean, there's going to be t there's going to be virtual casinos. So mm. essentially, you put your VR goggles on, whether you're at a casino that might have VR like rooms yeah. that can offer, you know, other like ha haptic suits that you could put on and you could feel the slot machine yeah. like vibrating while you get a, yeah. a jackpot or what have you, or you could do it from your home VR set, but you could go to a digital literally like universe. Mm. There's digital locations and meet your friends and actually go gamble in the virtual world. Right. And yeah, I mean, I, it's fascinating. And that, we're guess. putting a few cycles <laughs> yeah. into that. Like I'm ready. Again, you got to, you got to invest in that at the right time when the technology's there. Otherwise, yeah. you know, that can be a very deep well with not a lot of prizes. He said at we're the two years away. Yeah, so we got to get on it. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. we talk about this metaverse, and it's like conceptually, what, what is that, and how far fetched is it? But when you think about our life today, mm -hmm. whether it's Strava or you know Instagram, like yeah, yeah. we are already <clears throat> connected Very true. through a metaverse. It's not as kind of like <laughs> out um, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as you were mentioning, but you know, there's we we leave a leave a digital footprint everywhere we go, and yeah. so you know, I, I I'm of the belief that. If you're in a casino, pl players that go there have other friends that go there. Yeah. Wouldn't you like to yeah, know, yeah. are they in here right now? What did they win? What, what jacket? So, you know, you can add a like social element over a casino. I think that's probably where the metaverse might come in. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like Max TV. Like there you go. There you go. There you go. Get Shameless on it. Two years. You got two years. Oh, we got three months. We'll be all right. <laughs> and so, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that's, a, that's an interesting point, right? Yeah. And so, and what I did like, so to your point earlier, you go, hey, so the name kind of hits you, and then you go, wait, what? Like, and then it grows on you. What I will say, though, is the story, or at mm -hmm. least some of the, the animation where they said the O in Wonder is designed to be like a portal, right? Because right. one of your, is it New Worlds of Gaming? Is that what New the phrase is? New Worlds of Play. New that's, Worlds of Play, that's yeah. Vision, yeah. And so it's kind of cool, because that's like, now that's a portal into these new worlds, right? Which is interesting, so... What do you got cooking? Yeah, I'm What's glad the next you picked up world? on that. Did, I had, you know what? Explain that to you. That's a shout fancy. out to to Randy and Siobhan. They were yeah. giving us the Rockstar's. tour, and they were just kind of they have all the talking points. So you're yes. just like, oh wow! And so this certain things stick in this crow magnet head of mine, and that's <laughs> yeah. one of them. But <laughs> but that's what, what it is, right? Yeah. That's what we're trying to create these captivating, not captivating, these experiences yeah. where players go to a different world, whether it's Wonka yeah. or yeah. whether it's 88 Fortunes. It's like this this whole different genre. Yeah. Um, so it's not just a game, but it's a it's an idea and a yeah, I guess it's a portal into this new world of play. Like, yeah. Do you have anything ready? cooking for the net? Like, is there a big uh, game coming down the road? Oh, there's some big games coming. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. buddy. Nice. Can't say too much. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. <laughs> so you mentioned. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so like when you mentioned, well, we have a big launch coming up in a couple of weeks. You know a yeah. lot about. Great. Yeah, we great. Do know Double a money bit about link. That. Well, by the time when this airs, that'll be like a week or two away. So that'll be good. 
But yeah, we're like two weeks away right now. So that's yeah, the right. global launch of our dual screen cascada. There's a that was a big deal. There's a rock star lineup on yeah. that on that cabinet. It's gonna be a big yeah, one. That'll yeah, be a good sure. one. And then are you doing now? So like you mentioned, like on the back end with mm. systems, saying hey, systems and online systems kind of converging yep. and making it that we know everything Landon does. Will the games carry forth? Like you mentioned, some of your old brands, like you, you now own what used to be WMS, like, and they had that whole trying to connect yeah. it always. Is that going to be yeah, part I of th- it? I like think if you well, if you look at the Isla's data on the best performing online games, mm-hmm. it's yeah. all the it's all the land based titles. It's eighty eight fortunes. It's Jinji yeah. Baoji. Yeah. So there's there's a a clear preference for players online that want to play the same games in land based. And online. So how do you connect that experience? I mean, WMS was really ahead of their time when they did a lot of that adaptive. Yeah, that's um, what I'm wondering. So experience. like, obviously, you are now the company that had originated that. Mm. To your point about getting ahead of the technology, they were probably a little ahead of it because they were maybe yeah. doing it when never, not everybody had an iPhone. Not yes. every, like there was yes. early adopters, but not everyone. Now everyone has it. Yeah. And, and you speak to the guys that, that worked there back then. And there was a fundamental economics problem with that, that idea because it was like you play more to unlock different features mm-hmm. and it was very R and D intensive. So it took a lot of yeah, energy enough. and effort to, to build one of those games and players only a small fraction of them ever got to the end of it. Yeah. You yeah. know, like to get to that last feature, maybe 3% of the whole population that played the game actually got there. So the economics didn't quite work. And I think now you could probably revisit that for sure. Now that it's, there's an online version. Well, of that's that. what you I was probably, thinking, yeah. right? So if you're yep. sitting at home and you're banging through levels or unlocking achievements and yep. then you go, and then I go back. And as I hit the, uh, you said the mural, and you go, let's do that. Yeah, your status carries with you. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I think that's where it's all gone. Does getting rid of the lottery and some of these other businesses, staying focused to building good games, does that help you guys do new things like what we're talking about? A the thousand AR, percent. The VR, other thing that, that helps is so we sold those assets for like $7 million. That helps. So it takes <laughs> a couple <laughs> peanuts in the pot. Yeah, no big deal. Well, you know, I think one of the, so one of the big issues that we had as a company is what's well understood is our, is our leverage. Like we mm-hmm. were yeah. a very highly levered company which meant that we were very quarterly focused, right? you know, mm-hmm. we, we, cause at the end of the quarter you had to pay this huge interest yeah. payment. So yeah. whatever cash flow we generated, we had to use that to pay down debt, to pay the interest payment. So it, it kind of put a stranglehold on the business. We couldn't invest organically in, yeah. in R and D and all these things. So now we've, you know, we announced yesterday on the earnings call, we're going to have our, our leverage in a target range of two and a half to three and a half times, which is like right where all our peers are, which means that we can yep. really focus on organic investment, more games, more studios, more incentive for game designers. So it, it really takes the shackles off us and, and yeah. lets us really double down. And, you know, Jamie and Barry mentioned that on the call yesterday that organic investment is our primary focus. So, you know, in the core business, but also looking at things that are you know, a little bit outside the the sandbox. Um, so some of the ideas that we're, we're talking about here. So I think we're in a much better position financially that we can start to explore these things. That's awesome. And when does that start? So like, I know it's like one thing to go, hey, we sold the house. Yeah. But you don't get the check when you sell the house. You get the check however long after. And yeah. then obviously from there. So like, yeah, when so we, I mean, we announced this, so this the, the lottery transaction, we think will close in the next three to four weeks. Yeah. So the money will hit the bank. Yeah, yeah. right. So that's, the, it becomes real at that point. So that actual um, leverage is like, hey, we're 30 days away from that leverage being real. Yeah. And that, so the, the, the lottery is, you know, 80% of the, yeah, it's huge. the funds. And then we get the sports sale away sometime in Q2, we mentioned on the call yesterday. So it's, you know, it's we're yeah. right on the doorstep. Back half of the year, you're ready to roll. You're yeah, and again, like that's speed. the reason we launched the rebrand now. You know, we're going to be a totally new company on every dimension. You know, we've got new leadership, new investors, a new brand, a new financial profile. Again, if someone told me two years ago <laughs> that yeah. the dominoes would fall this way, man, we were in the middle of a pandemic, and I'm thinking, where, where is this all going to go? And yeah. two years later, we just. We're in such a great spot. L- last yeah. time we we chatted with you, you literally just started your position. Yeah, you know, <laughs> get smacked with the pandemic, yeah. <laughs> and then you got smacked with the pandemic. Uh, so we really couldn't ask you this question. But what outside of the pandemic, what mm. was like the biggest thing you've learned in those two years? Because that was a big jump from where you went from aristocrat yeah. to SG, um, now light and wonder. But what is like the biggest lesson you learned in those two years? Yeah, I spoke about this yesterday at the the unveiling. Like winning as a team, there's people are attracted to other people that want to that want to win together. Yeah. yeah. Like so, the amount of people that have joined us and the kind of reinvigoration of the employees at Light and Wonder, like everyone's all in. Like we're, we're, as a group, we're aligned around this strategy, and I, I yeah. think that's what Scientific Games was lacking. Like a long term strategic vision, which is you know we have now, and a direction that is explainable. Like 
before it was like back to the point of like we want to be all things to everyone in every channel and do everything perfectly it's hard to like latch on to as an employee when you yeah. when you explain it that way now we're like we're going to put games at the center of our universe and we're going to build the best games and we're going to publish them in land based in social casino in our casino that's what we do it's pretty simple let's go make great games and and win so i think like clarity of the vision yeah uh, is really important and i think uh, values are really important we spoke about that the yeah, other we were day about even coffee, with yeah. you guys getting this thing start, set yeah. up and i was saying at some point someone's going to come and offer you a whole bunch of money to do something that isn't exactly what you want to do right they're, they're going to make it an advertorial or whatever that is it's, that's not what max bet stands for max bet is about getting in here you know cut you know, gloves off talking about all the issues in your business um so having those things defined up front like we've got five new core values as part of the this new rebrand and new organization and like these are the things that are going to guide us every day and i think having those things front and center is really important i mean when you got a lot of employees working for you they need to know like what's the north star here yeah yeah we're trying to figure that out and we have five <laughs> but it's <laughs> it, it, like, like, so i get it but again it's employee. like you got to define those things up front otherwise you're going to yeah, be yeah. put in a position of compromise and when you when that happens you got to be able to go back to the rule book and say hey well yeah, we yep. said we're about these things. Yeah. We have certain things that we've said we won't do. Yeah. Right? yeah like for there's sure. definitely rules. Like we have more of what we're, our, where our boundaries are versus what as like a spirit. Like, so for example, one of yours, which I laugh because I was telling you yesterday, I said your team was nice enough, said, hey, grab like two t shirts. I got our values on. It's like, okay, cool. Did they have the right size? That's a big boy size, two XL, no big deal. Shocking. And so, uh, <laughs> yeah, take it easy, Schmidia. <laughs> and so, uh, but so I just grabbed the two. I said, dare to be bold, play as a team, or win as a team. And those are the two. And so we don't have it necessarily spelled out like that, but I did laugh. I'm like, those are the two you shouted out. So I'm like, of course, ex athletes, like that's yeah. how you know. But um, well, that, that, back to that <clears> point yesterday, like the dare to be bold thing. I was saying to the employees, like the brand that we're about to unveil, it's bold. Mm -hmm. It is bold. In fact, it's ambitious. And why wouldn't it be? Why yeah. would you want to go with safe? Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with a safe name. Like, swing for the fences, man. What, yeah. What, what are we here for? Let's <laughs> go. Let's go. Let's, we're gamblers. Let's roll. Yeah. Let's put it all on uh, Max Benton. Let's hit hit the big note. But <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it is interesting. And so like, it's funny to me. So I laugh because we were over there doing like a pre, you know, scout of your stage and just looking for our contacts so we wander into the lobby because yeah. there was a, it was propped open we didn't know yes and so light and wonder was all over the screens and i'm going <laughs> so oh that's good. cool right wonder then, what that is yeah that's what i said it's like oh it's their, like their new tagline right or whatever and then randy comes out she goes oh busted i go oh we're looking for, we're looking for you guys what do you yeah, mean busted yeah. she goes well now you know the name so i'm like well i wouldn't say it but like what's the name yeah, she goes, are you kidding me? I go, she goes, on every TV in the building, it says Light and Wonder. I go, yeah, but was that the name? Yeah. She goes, yeah. I go, oh, I didn't see that as a name. Like it, right, it was a yeah. phrase to me, right? And so, but then to your point, you go, well, it's bold. We're going to check it. But it's that, the, it's like the, it's the antithesis of scientific games. Like you guys have been in this, there's nothing yeah. scientific about the way we make games. It's like the best, the best, <laughs> it's really not. Yeah, no, it's really hear, not. Yeah. Like the best designers, like Scotty yeah. Olive makes a game in, in the shower. Like what's yeah. scientific about that? <laughs> exactly. The right. best games in the industry, and this is, universal across the board come from creative people who yeah. who are building games that they would want to play themselves yeah. it's not like we're in a laboratory putting nodes on people none of that happens it's like yeah, yeah. that's not how the industry works it's really about how do you generate a game that is exciting and i think the core tenant of any great game designer and we've got some and all the competitors yeah, do as right. well is like they understand the gambler because they gamble themselves you know that's yeah, yeah. That, that's a big yeah. part of it it's nothing scientific about it it's a it's more about light and wonder than it is yeah. about science gam gambler would have been that, <laughs> that was, was landon's guess he goes i think it'll be gam gambler <laughs> and i'm like that's not exactly what i would think but fair enough it was just one of those so we were laughing because a lot of times when we were coming up with it, it was like how do you name your company it's like well find something you want to be right so like max bat for us was cool they go, oh, go the URL's taken. So we're just on GoDaddy. Yeah, we well, GoDaddy was our simple search. Can't get maxbet.com. We got Maxbet Media, right? That's what we did for everything. So Atlanta <laughs> would just be sitting there going, nope, taken, taken, got it. So we own like yeah. 60 domains of things that will never 200. be a company. 200 By the place. way, that is a hard process, trying to find a name that hasn't It's been a good way. It's a good process because <laughs> yeah. people that have already done the research will go buy all the URLs, whether it's .com, .edu, right. right. As a right. business, trying to, yeah. trying to flip them right to someone else. Yeah. That's a whole other business. Yeah. Yeah, you can't this fall is. in love too soon on the name. By the way, that's sure the same it. now as these metaverses. Like, so right. these like meta locations are people yeah, are giving buying, them to for buying, free. Right. It's gonna be like domain names, and so you should start buying them now. You're gonna own like 
a spot in the middle of the desert yeah. that's like an NFT <laughs> meta location and it's going right. to be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars down the road. Is this is this the point like in our lives where we like we're just becoming old people now? Like, because like, when we're growing maybe. up, it's like probably we're old. Yeah, we've got a, you know, a mobile phone with games on it. And your parents are like, what is that? What are you doing with that thing? That's yeah. cool. I don't understand that. Now we're like, what? Yeah. Metaverse? Well, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. Those young <laughs> you, kids, yeah. they're crazy. Yeah. I was in pure confusion mode talking about it. Cause I'm just like, wait, what? How do I connect it to the real world? Like, yeah. no, stop trying to do that. Once right, you don't right. understand it, that's the point where you get old. And the other thing when you get old <laughs> and you know you're getting old is that you you kind of grunt when you pick things up off the floor. Have you noticed that? Are you doing that yet, Landon? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just the kids. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Picking up the kids. <laughs> Yeah. The good news is, is I'm already halfway to the ground, so <laughs> it's not true. a huge a this is true. It's a quick dip and uh, dump. It's a full, it's a full deadlift for us, buddy. Not so <laughs> much for Lando. Oh, man. So what else are you guys cooking on that's uh, that's coming down the road? Well, I think we've said it all, haven't we? We spent yeah. a big couple of days. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the the game marches on. We've got trade shows coming up around the corner. Feels like the world's reopening here. Yeah, and that's nice. That'll be good for you. You're just giving a guy that gets all his energy from other people, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. I always laugh. I'm like, you know, I... Just personally, I'm like, I don't know. I'm gonna have a good time when I see it because immediately it's like high energy, right? So I'm like, I don't know when yeah, your it's battery the, it's drains, the cafe, but as man, it goes, to be honest yeah. with you, but yeah, 2020 was rough. I don't know Dude, how you guys brutal. managed through it, but like trying to like lead <laughs> a great. company that of people I'd never met. I mean, I'm still meeting people that I've had like a hundred video calls with, but have never met in person. It's oh, wow. the weirdest experience. I went to Australia a few weeks ago and met that team for the first time in two years, and it's like this. Oh, it's you. You're real. Look, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, three yeah. dimensional. This is this is awesome. Yes, yeah, so it's just fun. it's just fun. Yeah, I do get a lot of energy from from being around other people. So being back in the office with um, some people, at least part time, is um is big for me. Do you uh does it, do the Aussie crew have any like weird office traditions that wouldn't fly in the U.S.? Like, are they cracking cold these at three p.m. on the Zoom or what are we what <laughs> are we seeing gonna, down there? I'm not going to call them out. On well, it doesn't have to be about the global beers, podcast. But I'm just like curious. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, the thing is in Australia, when you've been gone a long time, everyone wants to catch up over a beer. Uh, yeah. No yeah, one wants yeah. to get a coffee yeah. that everyone is like, no, nah, just can't do this. Be 26 beers a day. Beers, like, yeah. yeah, what are we doing? Yeah. I didn't even go out with an intention to party, but I'm just catching <laughs> up with my friends and here we go. Yeah, that's true. That's wild, man. Uh, rock and roll. Are you excited for Graydon? I'm excited to oh, have it's you. It's going to be huge. It's going to be yeah, huge. We're excited to have you up it's there. a great idea. Like putting him up like a UFC fight. There's all these influencers, bloggers going head to head. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit of that. It's a little bit of like how they start. I mean, I think there's just such a fascination with people going yeah. into this, like, you know, like, for example, NG slot, right? So he's coming up and he sits there and he'll get on and he'll play 50 grand in a machine. <laughs> in, in a second. A lot of times your machine, no big deal, huff and puff for like, you know, so he oh, likes Oh, we got a new huff and puff coming out. He's going to love that. It's, yeah. it's going to be on the floor for him. Love right. It. And so love it's it. like, but he'll just do it. And he just goes and plays it. And people are like, how can you do that? Because there's so many people that go, 50 grand is what I get this year. You're doing a session, right? right? It's so, each their own, though, right? People get to do what they want all, to do. It's all there's, good. No, no hay, but it's just one of those things where it's like people are going, how did you do that? How did you start that? So we're trying to right. give a little light there's on There's two parts to this, and this is like a big piece to your online mm. gaming and the games. This sector of entertainment is brand new, and nobody is really paying attention. Right. So this influencer life within gambling mm. is brand new. So yeah. when you look at sports and poker... Like yeah. actual cash game poker, those are 10, 20 years old. Right. So and they're freaking that, yeah. massive right now. Yep. But it was like, ah, this online, the slot saying hello. 80% of the, the revenue comes from slots. Is there a business slot. opportunity there somewhere you think? Max bet, baby. That's no, what we're no, doing. No, yeah. But this yeah. is important. So, like, this is why we're doing the Graydon trip. Mm. And I'm going to give you guys a plug here in a minute. But half the world doesn't know that people can go film themselves in casinos and showcase their wins. Right. Online, right? And that's coming even more so when online gaming comes and people are at their house, they can mm. screen capture just like Twitch is doing with yeah. online video games. It's entertaining stuff. So the reason we're building this this film is to showcase it to people that who aren't necessarily like paying attention to it. It's like why I go watch the Discovery Channel, watch people mine gold. It's like not my life. So it's yeah, super yeah. fascinating. Yeah, so sure. how, how do we showcase that to the rest <laughs> of the world? But the plug I want to give to you guys is you're kind of already showing that you're stepping outside of like your old corporate ways at SG and you're yeah. kind of trying to be innovative and do new things by helping sponsor us and being progressive, yeah. you know, cause we couldn't do this without, without you guys. So, uh, we, we appreciate you guys supporting us in that. And, and we get to do this kind of cool new thing together that yeah. nobody's ever done. Seven of the largest gamblers for brick and mortar, one jet, one location, <laughs> 
One a Aussie. bunch of knuckleheads. Yeah, yeah. One <laughs> Aussie. Catching up over being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One it's Aussie. Well, and, it's something yeah. you mentioned. So you're talking about this whole thing and just bringing it back a little bit to what you guys are doing in the games. So one thing we had fun with was playing all the games out in the lot, right? Like we were oh, yeah. chucking the bean bags yeah, yeah, and hanging out. Yeah. Is that going to be more in the office as well? Oh, for like sure. Like we'll have a little yeah, bit yeah. of that station set up and like they can yes. blow a little steam off. One thousand percent. Like we make games. We say it all the time. We make games. That's what we do. That's yeah, that's, yeah. that's what we do. And people have been playing games for for centuries, decades, however long you when you want to say. It's part of the core experience. The human experience is to is to play games. It's the first thing they gravitate to sure. is when they go out in the car park. There, right? Yeah. They're playing. Yeah. Well, Cornhole. Yeah. Who won that game, by the way? I think it was a draw. I don't yeah, know. I think that was pretty right. good. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> no chance. Well, yeah, Land my team skills. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was to it. Yeah, I don't know. Siobhan was the only one that dunked one in. So if, you, if you're true. asking for who scored the best shot, she had it. She's so good at pretty that's much true, everything. Yeah. Team Light and Wonder beat us, but <laughs> pretty sure. Bags on the table still win, bro. <laughs> it's all just good. just because we did a Nothing podcast. Nothing but net, baby. <laughs> Nothing but net, baby. <laughs> oh man. Uh, we are getting close to the yeah, end here. Yeah, it's all good. So, so I was going to ask, so we, we kind of got your gambling story last time. It uh, seems yeah. like the new What's gamble up? is the rebrand. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Right? Big, yeah. big upgrade for you. And then, uh, but who else? I mean, I know you're, you know, everybody as an extroverted guy. Like, I feel like everyone's like, they got the, everyone has a Matt Wilson story. Right? Oh. As well, or if not, they soon will. And so I guess for you, who should we talk to? Like you've had yeah, a year and a half. This. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, was going to yeah. say, we're coming for the call out. Well, this guy's a total character. He, you'll enjoy him. And maybe you already know him, but I was just speaking to him on the way over here. Mastro. Do you know Mastro? I do not. But if that's no. his whole name, that's great. <laughs> just a single name guy, Mastro. Perfect. Yeah, game designer. We're, okay. we're about games, right? This industry is built on games. And I think for the longest time, game designers were okay. hidden in the back room. Yep, you like, got to keep them hidden. These guys are, and girls should be front and center. Like, yeah, right. Yeah. And this guy's a, he was WMS. He's been in the industry. I think he's like 22 years in or something. Made Mastro, Wonkers yeah, and Monopolies and whatever. And he's a total character. He's got a lot of good Aussie slang. Oh, good. Perfect. So, yeah, get him on. And he's a, he's up for it. But he's a, Is yeah, he based he's, here? He's based in Chicago. He leaves okay. out Chicago But studio. he comes out here yeah, often? Yeah, cool. he does. Perfect. He does. He's here next week, actually. Out of way. He'll send Easy. him over. Yeah, so, I will. So, Mastro. He's Come hilarious. On, yeah, yeah, that's great. That's fun. We like hilarious Australians. He did. He did. His team did. Uh, Dancing Drums Explosion. He did the oh, Wonka, so, Wonka so game on murals. Just a, a couple few of small popular games. Yeah. games. Yeah, yeah. Dancing Drums Explosion is a massive game. We need to figure out how to turn the AC on in this room because <laughs> it's a little like, we got four dudes. You also a wore dog. a jacket, so I, I don't know. know what that's about. But you it's know, for the look, bro. Yeah, it's, I, don't, <laughs> I don't get that. You guys get that. I'm less. Uh, I'm less. I'm on trying that to be program. cool, man. I gotta like. Uh, you gotta do it. <laughs> All right. So before we go, then. Uh, Aussie slang. What can you leave us with? <laughs> yes. is, there a, is there a word or two you can teach us as we head out the door? Go, yeah, These yeah, yeah. So words. you want to go for a drink, you say, fancy a shandy down the watering hole, love. If you want to go for a drink with your lady down the local pub. Fancy a shandy down the, at the watering hole. Down the love. watering hole, love. Down the watering Don't. hole. That's a very romantic. I, please use this at <laughs> some point. Fancy a shandy it's, down the watering it's hole. Mike's, uh, his, it's his wife's birthday tomorrow, so oh, I would love do it, do it, do it. Like that. It's very romantic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Works for Valentine's Day. Perfect. Yeah. Please do this. Oh, why wouldn't I? <laughs> she might there's, hit you. There's no chance we're going to... She won't hit me. She'll be like, you're an idiot. Like, what are you talking about? It's not going to be violent. Uh, just, uh, all right, give us what, what would you say something like amongst the boys? Like, uh, <laughs> So that's for the lo- for the lo- for your love interest. And then what would you say? It doesn't have to be about drinking a beer, but what would it... What's something else you're going to um, Well, we, we say crikey mate a lot. That's a big one. Or my, yeah. my daughter, because all my kids are Americans now. They've got yeah. full-on American accents. I say they say water <laughs> oh, yeah. and hamburger. Like, you guys take your R's really seriously. Water and hamburger. Yeah. And so if she wants to be Australian, she says, strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> just, <laughs> just muffles the R's. That's so yeah, good. It's, it's funny. Strawberry cheesecake. All right, we're sending it, one it of those comes to you. Out. Yeah, when after did a few you move drinks. Here? So I moved long? here in 2012. And how old were the kids? I've got a funny there? story about that yeah, that everyone's heard. My first week in the country, I go to Memphis, Tennessee. I was seeing Robert Perry, actually. Okay. And Perfect. so I get to the airport in Memphis, and I go to the Starbucks, and uh, I didn't know what to order because the drinks are called something different in Australia. There's no Americanos oh, really? in Australia. So it's like so I'm Austral- like, what do I get? Oceano what do I get? I go, I, go <clears throat> I guess I'll get an a Americano, thanks. And this lady behind the counter, she goes, boy, where are you from? <laughs> and, I, and, it like, and I said, uh, I'm not going to tell you. you got to guess. And she goes, I don't know. But I can listen to you talk all day. <laughs> She's like, but and just I stay s- here and order things. Yeah. yeah. And I said, well, I'm not going to tell you. you got to guess. And she goes, hmm, I don't know. Is you from France? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm definitely not from France. Yeah. I'm from the deep south, man. Sydney, Australia. Yeah. 
Yeah. She was her mind just blown. Just barista. <laughs> oh, no, in her defense, yeah. it was like not a lot of Australian people go to Memphis. So <laughs> I can yeah. imagine. Or, yeah. or specifically her coffee shop, right? <laughs> yeah. So like if you're going, exactly. maybe you're passing the airport like, what is this yeah, guy talking like, about? Who is yeah. this foreign guy just <laughs> yeah. dripping, ordering some coffee? He doesn't even yeah. know he's about to drink. I'll awesome. have an Americano, please. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go get a shandy down at the watering hole, boys. <laughs> let's yeah. do it. Turn the AC on. Uh, let's we'll do it after. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming by. Congrats on yeah, the rebrand. Shout out to and, you guys. Uh, thanks yeah. for all the support. Thanks for being there yesterday. Absolutely. Big day for our yeah. company. So cool. appreciate you. Thanks, boys.